in today's Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom, you're going to learn an important lesson that I've picked up over the years about speaking contests and why they're important. Hey, I'm back here in Denver for the one of the two semifinals for Toastmasters International World Championship of Public Speaking. The three winners of two contests will meet on Saturday to be to determine who the world champion of public speaking is. One of the most important lessons I've learned about contests is that you shouldn't go in thinking, how can I win? Now, that sounds counterintuitive, I know. Isn't the purpose of a contest to win? The purpose of a contest should be to leave a message that resonates with the audience and leaves them wanting more, it leaves them wanting to make a change. Winning is a byproduct. It's easy to say you shouldn't focus on winning a contest if you've won a lot of contests. If you don't know me, if you haven't watched one of my videos, my mentors, in addition to a Hall of Fame speaker, a Las Vegas headliner, and a Hollywood scriptwriting consultant, my other mentors are world champions of public speaking who became successful professionals. I mention that only because they taught me, and they've learned over the years, that winning the contest was great, but the reason they won is because they left a message on the audience that impacted them and resonates years, even decades later. People still come up to them 20 years later and say, wow, your speech, I still think about it. That is why they won the contest, not because they lusted after a trophy. Always remember, a trophy is a byproduct. And I'm not just talking speech contests. Winning an award, uh, getting some kind of promotion, those will occur, those will be the byproduct if you create a meaningful and memorable message. Your tip for today is simply this. Learn this lesson from contest speaking. It's not about the trophy, it's not about the award, it's not about the promotion. It's about that lasting message that sticks with an audience. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.